I just thought everything was bobbing by Christmas. I mean, that was my July, June, July outlook pretty much. But a lot of people I don't know, man. We've been down, down for a year. Um, I mean, things are probably going lower, but I, I tweeted the other day. It's like, how much lower do you want things to go before? I'll tell you a little bit of the story. Back in 2019, I did not get all my money into the market in that $3,000 Bitcoin, $85 dollar ETH range. And then the plus token Ponzi took uh, Bitcoin to $14,000 in three months. And when you sit here and watch all the idiots on YouTube, not, I mean, the mainstream people, and you watch all these people because for whatever reason I was doing that, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, everybody thought that, oh man, this, this uh, $6,000, once we get back to 6,000, it's going to be a rock solid support there. Um, we're going to, we're going to really fight that support. So that was about the time uh, mm -hmm. I learned leverage trading in crypto. So I didn't get all my money in for my HODL in that uh, $3,000 Bitcoin range. I even one up that and I uh, shorted $6,000 Bitcoin and got demolished on that. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, the moral of the story is it is infinitely even if I didn't put that short on, it is infinitely more painful watching this market run away from you than watching your stack lose another 50%. I mean, Bitcoin, the largest cap, the, the blue or the blue chip, it went from 3,000 to 14,000 in three months. What's that? Basically a 5X in three months. You not being involved in or you not partaking in a 5X just for the chance of your your thousand dollars turning into 500 is mm. very very painful it is so much more painful we're we're low enough guys like i'm not saying go buy right now because like i'm a big believer in dollar cost averaging i've been selling corn commodities for 20 years i've tried to beat the market i've tried to trade futures i would i mean for a lot of years i got my ass kicked trading commodities and not i mean i was still profitable farming but my best years farming has been the last eight years when I've just dollar cost averaged future sales all mm -hmm. year. I mean, uh, our elevators, I mean, you can sign up and give 10% or 3% of your sales, your gross sales to a, a marketing agency, or you can go to your local elevator and they will just sell uh, 5% every two weeks for the entire year. I mean, that's one way to do it. But you can just dollar cost average um, when things are getting frothy. Uh, just for example, like corn started at five dollars this spring, it, and it was it was up to seven twenty one. Well, I sell five percent at five dollars. I sell ten percent at five fifty. I sell twenty percent when we get to six dollars, and when we get up to seven dollars, I'm dynamically selling more the more the market goes up so i i sold like half of my corn futures at within two pennies of the top because it hurts it hurts when you're selling like five and ten small percent increments so far from the top and watching the market go up but that's mm -hmm. dollar cost averaging has always been the best thing for me and i've tried all the other ways i've in, not just in crypto but everything else in general and uh i'm a big believer in it and i'm a believer in it because i don't know where the markets are going i don't know that crypto is going down anymore so if i don't know it's going down i think it's going down i'm pretty sure it's going down but i don't trust it enough to be able to withstand that pain of watching things run i could not watch hex go to 25 cents right now and not be in the market at all it would hurt me way too much it would hurt me to my core i'd have trouble sleeping you wake up every morning in a hot sweat if you're sitting in 100 percent cash and richard let's just say for an example announces announces pulse chain launch january 1st this the market would likely run let's be honest people are probably gonna fomo because people want to hold something that's gonna have value on the other chain if you you will wake up every single day sweating, I'm not saying put your whole stack in. I'm not putting my whole stack in, but we're down 80 to 95 percent. Like it's it's not dumb. Buying tops is not smart, but buying bottoms is not dumb. You know, and we don't know if it's the bottom. Mm -hmm. There'll be another bottom to buy, but that's why you dollar cost average because we don't know. 
everybody I see on Twitter all the time. It's just like you see people that are like, oh, you, uh, rest in peace to the dollar cost average people. You know, I mean, they they think they know everything. No, you dollar cost average because you don't know everything. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, that that's the purpose of it is you don't know everything. So that's just one thing to look at. I, I, I've been through it. I've been through it with way more than just crypto that when you watch markets run away from you, it hurts. It hurts really bad. So you thought it was painful watching your stack lose 60%. Wait till you miss out on a 10 X. I, I, so I don't like diversification as a strategy um, because diversification like that, cause you don't know. So you just pick some things like that. I'd rather be like, you know, all the eggs in one basket, watch ba- basket carefully type of thing. But mm-hmm. I like this meta sort of diversification uh, sort of in it, or at least relation with dollar cost averaging as you don't know when the price is going to go up or down. So you're, but you're, you're making a position in it. I, I could, I'll be more, more on board with that one. So no, but very interesting, man. Mm-hmm. 